Hey guys, so today we're going to play with fire, and I just wanted to show you um, what I wrote real quick. Um, this is with that Jin Hao pen that I actually just got done unboxing and playing with. It's that? Oh, that's just a reflection. For a minute I thought there was like ink dripping out of it. Um, I wrote Tis Ben, and then I forgot to spell how, how to spell a while. Actually, that first time might have been right. I had to spell it in print to remember how to spell it, so I don't know. So, tis been a while since I wrote in cursive. As you can tell, I'm amazing at cursive. It's, it's like a second... Let's move on. So the reason I even got into buying a fountain pen, I'm not into fountain pens yet, considering, as you can tell by how horrible I am at writing, um, but since I got into that, you might see the wax up here. Um, before then, I was like, I want to get a seal. So that's what I got. I got a stamp for a wax seal. Um, and then while I was searching that, I saw fountain pens, and I'm like, those are cool. I always found fountain pens interesting because we learned about them in school. So I'm like, I'm going to get one. I'm going to get some ink. Because, again, I always like the most analog alternative possible and something that I can reuse a lot instead of just a cartridge. So that came with an ink converter and I got the ink and yeah. Anyways, here's an envelope. I think you can tell what we're going to do. We're going to put this horribly written message inside the envelope, envelope, whatever they're called. Uh, melt some wax on there. Hope it doesn't look horrible because if like smoke or However, if you like scorch the wax as it drips down, it just looks like horrible and I'm not sure how to get it to drip down uh, perfectly and then I have to be able to stamp this down properly. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to be using a Zippo for now. Um, these have the wicks or whatever in them. So that's how I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to light it and then I'm going to just let it drip and we'll see what happens. Hopefully I don't burn the house down. So let's fold this up properly so it fits inside the envelope, envelope, whatever you want to call it, again. By the way, that big text was awesome, if you couldn't tell. And I'm going to lick the, the thing closed just so, um, actually, should I? I mean, that makes it more secure, and it will hold it down while I do this. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Maybe that was actually a peel and stick that's already been peeled. Because that tasted horrible, but worked. Whatever. Okay. I, I'm semi-worried about this. This wax feels very, um, light. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. So I'm sort of reaching around a tripod if you, you can't tell by my arm motions. Well, poop, okay. Jeez, that lit up fast. There, I think this is a good angle, right? Not sure if it's supposed to be that color or if I'm doing this wrong. Yeah, that looks alright, I guess. It's melting really fast. That can be a plus and a minus. I like how it looks and its pool of meltedness, but um, I'm not sure if it's supposed to have those black swirls in it or not. And I know how I said I like the most analog alternative, so really I should be like melting this over a candle and I've just gone the normal uh, wax crap. I dropped off the wrong spot over there. Um, 
melting the wax without the wick, but with my brain, I think, um, according to my brain at least, I think um, since they, you know, had normal candles back then with wicks, I'm justifying it by that, saying, um, well, they could have made these if they wanted to. This is all pooling up down at the bottom because I didn't flatten this perfectly. Um, is that enough? It's not a big stamp. Set off the smoke alarms. We set that sort of crooked there. Okay, let's wait a second for it to cool a bit. I'm not pressing it down yet, I'm just... Okay, I think that's enough time. Oh my god, I might have done that perfectly, like my first freaking try. That is amazing. I saw all these people failing at doing this online, and I'm like, I'm going to do horrible. Oh my god. <laughs> um, I might have not pressed that down, you know, hard enough. But I'd say that's pretty good for my first try. Um, send that to my cat? No. What, what was the message on here? I wrote a letter earlier about how, um, calling my cat Fluffy or something. Um, what was in there? I know I wrote awesome in really big, so awesome is in there. Okay. But, uh, yeah, now that I know I can do that, um, I guess I, I don't have to worry. I thought I was going to have to, like, um, train doing this for a while, but I'm quite proud of that. The only thing that isn't really amazing is that one blob there, but from a distance and from nowadays where you don't even receive too many letters, I don't think too many people are going to critique me on that. Um, thanks for watching, and that is my seal.